Hi kids, how are you? Well, this time I'm sending an activity about street art. Street art is basically everything you see on the street. Okay, artists choose the walls to paint or to do some graffiti. Like this case, this one is a very famous street artist called um, Banksy. He's British. We don't know his face, we don't know where he lives, we don't know anything about him because what he does is illegal, okay? So, you, as you can see here, what he's done is a, um, a, a graffiti where you can see a protester, okay, someone who you usually see protesting on the street covering their faces, but he's not, th not, not throwing anything to harm people, he's throwing flowers, okay? So it's like a mixed message, okay? Uh, so it makes you think about it. So if we continue, first I'm sending a link. You will see here some street art from around the school, okay, from Vicente Lopez. So here you can see the examples. These are around uh, this hospital that's near the school. We have some on the tunnel going under the train. We have some on the train station, okay. So these are all on Vicente Lopez, in Vicente Lopez. Uh, there are more here you can explore and if you don't live there perhaps you remember some of the murals that are around your house you can even explore it okay you have Google Maps you can explore with the street view around your house if you find any other uh, street art so let's continue with the presentation here uh, I sent another video you have two different new links on the first link it goes to an interview that some children made um, they made on a, um, it's an interview uh, with a street artist um, in London, okay, she's French so she shows them a bit of what she does on the street and she makes them do something with her on her workshop so you can see that, it's quite interesting and it's short, okay and the second link it's it's this, it's a link to the Tate Museum, which is also in London, and it's got an activity, okay? It's got like a little game. It's about, obviously, street art. So here you press start and it tells you what, you can, what you're going to do. Say street art is related to graffiti, you might see it on the street, on walls, or even on buildings. Some of them use rollers, which is, you know, the roller painter. Um, the spray paint and stickers to make the art. So what we have here is a basic tool to make um, our own street art. So the background is like a wall. So we can paint, I don't know, let's do something with uh, the spray paint here. Here on the left I have spray paint. I have the rollers and I also have some stamps I can use and stamp I can put it here and I can also move it yes if I don't like it I click here on the arrow it goes back and do I can continue undoing hmm? I also have sticker you can do something on the sticker let's say I do uh, some which is our school, yes, we miss it so much. So I can use it here, Sanka, Wait, move it, Wait. I don't like it. Let's go back, go back. I can put it here and I can put another one here, okay? I can go to the stamps now and use this very nice. Okay, you can continue exploring as many times as you want with all the tools you've got here on the left and then you can save if you put your your data your data uh, you can share it on the website on the on the Tate Museum website if you don't want to share it there um, you don't have to okay but keep this image because you have to try and do it on paper this time so what I do is I take a piece of paper and I'm going to uh, do my street art here but this is street art not anything okay so what I do is first I need the gray background the wall 
What I can do to get the gray background is to take some newspaper, okay? So you can cut the part where you have letters, you stick it, you stick it on your white paper, and after you've got the background, then you continue. If you want to do the stamp, we go to some uh, newspaper, some magazines, cutouts, and you can find, perhaps you can find uh, uh, a person like this, you know, to represent that. You can cut out a person, you stick it there. To do the stickers, very easy. We go to a, a color paper. It can be color paper or you can look for it on a magazine. You cut the circle, you write Sanka in this case. You stick it too. Uh, and, well, if you have the spray paint, just use markers or the roller, just use markers, okay, to do that. So remember, first we do the background, we are all my scissors. You do the background by cutting some newspaper, okay. I cut the newspaper and I will stick it on my white sheet of paper, yes. After I got this, which will be my background, I can do the stickers, okay? So I will cut. If you have stickers that are similar to these, perfect. If you don't have them, just make them, okay? So I write Sanka and I stick it one and I do it, I stick it on one side and I will stick it again here. So I have the black, the black lines. I can do it like this, okay, a bit thicker. With a marker, with a pen, with anything that you have that can make a black strong line, okay. Yes, so this way you start copying what you've done there, yes? This is what you do, okay? So try to do a nice design, okay? This is very fast, I, I didn't have much time. So you take your time, you can start again. If you want to start again, you just click on the cross here. And are you sure you want to start again? Yes, I will start again, okay? If you don't like it, you start again. Just try to be happy with what you do, okay? Don't just do the first thing that, that happens. Try to do something that you like, okay? If you want, you can just see go. what other kids have made. Just go here to see all the game artwork and you will see what children have uploaded, okay? And perhaps you will see yours here too, okay? So uh, if you want to add it later, yes. Well, have fun. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. And we'll see this one, the one you did on the piece of paper, on Padlet. Don't forget to finish it, take a picture and upload it on Padlet, okay? Have a nice week. See you next time.